the art of origami or paper folding has received a considerable amount of mathematical study. Fields of interest include a given paper model's flat fold ability and the use of paper folds to solve mathematical equations. History In 1893 T. Sundara Rao published geometric exercises in paper folding, which used paper folding to demonstrate proofs to geometrical constructions. This work was inspired by the use of origami in the kindergarten system. This book had an approximate trisection of angles and implied construction of a cube root was impossible. In 1936 Margarita P. Bullock showed that use of the Bullock fold, later used in the sixth of the Husita Hattori axioms, allowed the general cubic equation to be solved using origami. In 1949 R.C. Yates' book Geometric Methods described three allowed constructions corresponding to the first, second, and fifth of the Husita Hattori axioms. The axioms were discovered by Jacques Justin in 1989, but were overlooked until the first six were rediscovered by Humiaki Husita in 1991. The first international meeting of origami science and technology was held in 1989 in Ferrara, Italy. Pure origami. Flat folding the construction of origami models is sometimes shown as crease patterns. The major question about such crease patterns is whether a given crease pattern can be folded to a flat model, and if so, how to fold them. This is an NP-complete problem. Related problems when the creases are orthogonal are called map folding problems. There are four mathematical rules for producing flat foldable origami crease patterns. The regions between the creases can be colored with two colors, differing across each crease. Equivalently every vertex has an even number of creases. Mikawa's theorem. At any vertex the number of valley and mountain folds always differ by two in either direction. Kawasaki's theorem. At any vertex, the sum of all the odd angles adds up to 180 degrees, as do the even. A sheet can never penetrate a fold. Paper exhibits zero Gaussian curvature at all points on its surface, and only folds naturally along lines of zero curvature. Curved surfaces which can't be flattened can be produced using a non-folded crease in the paper, as is easily done with wet paper or a fingernail. Assigning a crease pattern mountain and valley folds in order to produce a flat model has been proven by Marshall Byrne and Barry Hayes to be NP. Complete. Further references and technical results are discussed in Part 2 of Geometric Folding Algorithms. Husita Hattori axioms some classical construction problems of geometry, namely trisecting an arbitrary angle, or doubling the cube, are proven to be unsolvable using compass and straight edge but can be solved using only a few paper folds. Paper fold strips can be constructed to solve equations up to degree 4. The Husita Hattori axioms are an important contribution to this field of study. These describe what can be constructed using a sequence of creases with at most two point or line alignments at once. Complete methods for solving all equations up to degree 4 by applying methods satisfying these axioms are discussed in detail in geometric origami. Constructions. As a result of origami study through the application of geometric principles, methods such as Hager's theorem have allowed paper folders to accurately fold the side of a square into thirds, fifths, sevenths, and ninths. Other theorems and methods have allowed paper folders to get other shapes from a square, such as equilateral triangles, pentagons, hexagons and special rectangles such as the golden rectangle and the silver rectangle. Methods for folding most regular polygons up to and including the regular 19 gone have been developed. Hager's theorems the side of a square can be divided at an arbitrary rational fraction in a variety of ways. Hager's theorems say that a particular set of constructions can be used for such divisions. Surprisingly few folds are necessary to generate large odd fractions. For instance one-fifth can be generated with three folds, first half a side, then use Hager's theorem twice to produce first two-thirds and then one-fifth. The accompanying diagram shows Hager's first theorem. 
The function changing the length app to QC is self-inverse. Let x be app, then a number of other lengths are also rational functions of x. For example, doubling the cube. The classical problem of doubling the cube can be solved using origami. This construction is due to Peter Messer. A square of paper is first creased into three equal strips as shown in the diagram. Then the bottom edge is positioned so the corner point P is on the top edge and the crease mark on the edge meets the other crease mark Q. The length PB will then be the cube root of two times the length of app. The edge with the crease mark is considered a marked straight edge, something which is not allowed in compass and straight edge constructions. Using a marked straight edge in this way is called an oasis construction in geometry. Trisecting an angle Angle trisection is another of the classical problems that cannot be solved using a compass and unmarked ruler, but can be solved using origami. This construction is due to Hisashi Abe. The angle cab is trisected by making folds PP and QQ parallel to the base with QQ halfway in between. Then point P is folded over to lie on line AC and at the same time point A is made to lie on line QQ at A. The angle AAB is one third of the original angle cab. This is because PAQ, AAQ and AAR are three congruent triangles. Aligning the two points on the two lines is another noises construction as in the solution to doubling the cube. Related problems. The problem of rigid origami, treating the folds as hinges joining two flat, rigid surfaces, such as sheet metal, has great practical importance. For example, the Mura map fold is a rigid fold that has been used to deploy large solar panel arrays for space satellites. The napkin folding problem is the problem of whether a square or rectangle of paper can be folded so the perimeter of the flat figure is greater than that of the original square. Curved origami also poses a set of mathematical challenges. Curved origami allows the paper to form developable surfaces that are not flat. Wet folding origami allows an even greater range of shapes. The maximum number of times an incompressible material can be folded has been derived. With each fold a certain amount of paper is lost to potential folding. The loss function for folding paper in half in a single direction was given to be, where L is the minimum length of the paper, T is the material's thickness, and N is the number of folds possible. The distances L and T must be expressed in the same units, such as inches. This result was derived by Galavan in 2001, who also folded a sheet of paper in half 12 times. Contrary to the popular belief that paper of any size could be folded at most 8 times, she also derived the equation for folding in alternate directions. The fold and cut problem asks what shapes can be obtained by folding a piece of paper flat and making a single straight complete cut. The solution, known as the folding cut theorem, states that any shape with straight sides can be obtained. A practical problem is how to fold a map so that it may be manipulated with minimal effort or movements. The Mura fold is a solution to the problem, and several others have been proposed.